Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I've got an exciting new announcement, which is the launch of this latest product from The Ordinary. This is The Ordinary Natural Moisturising Factors Plus Phytoceramides, an updated version of their original Natural Moisturising Factors, which is designed to double down on the levels of hydration you're gonna see. This is supposed to be perfect for those with dry, dehydrated skin, looking to boost the barrier function and deliver maximum hydration. Well, of course, with all the bold claims that come with this product, I had to put it through its paces and share with you my thoughts, feelings, and opinions, which is kind of the purpose of today's video. So, sit back, relax, and let's talk the new, the ordinary moisturizer. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know what your own hot take is on this product. Are you excited to try it? Do you think it would work for your individual skin's needs? Sound off in the comments section below, and let's get that conversation going. I was given the opportunity by The Ordinary to try this product out before it goes on general sale. I only get given these opportunities thanks to the love, kindness and support that you guys show me each and every day, which honestly means the absolute world to me. If you want to see the continuation of this style of content, you know, new product reviews and releases, let me know by reaching down and giving this video a big thumbs up and a like. This is honestly the very best way of supporting me as a content creator, as the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much so much. Now, without further ado, should we just cut that waffle and delve straight on in? So let's take things right back. What is this product? What does it claim to do? Well, first off, this actually launched on the 21st of February. So if you're watching this video before it launches, unless you're a member of what the ordinary called the O Lab, which is their like pre-release database, you will have to wait just a little bit to get your hands on this product. I have left links in the description box below. If upon launch you want to try it out, read the reviews, the ingredients, and all that good stuff, the links are there for your convenience. So the ordinary claim that this product has twice the emollients and moisturizing factors as their original natural moisturizing factors and that moisturizer was already a holy grail for so many people out there. They said that they responded to some of the criticism and some of the critiques that you guys have given them saying that the original natural moisturizing factors wasn't just doing enough for a lot of skin types. For someone like me who's super oily and acne prone Honestly, the original moisturizer was amazing. Lightweight, did the job, didn't clog the pores or weigh the skin down. But I totally get, if you have a drier skin type, it probably wasn't gonna be enough. I know a lot of people that like to mix a little bit of facial oil into the original moisturizing factors to kind of dial up the level of hydration you're gonna see. That definitely delivered. But it's nice that we've kind of got an all-in-one option now. The order are very clear for who this will work for. They say it's gonna be best suited to those that are looking to repair the barrier function of the skin with some great barrier building ingredients, but also for those with super dry and dehydrated skin. Now, this isn't my individual skin type, so I've actually been trying this out alongside some friends and family that I think it would be slightly more applicable to. However, this is a product that I do think you can genuinely use in a multitude of different ways. I'm going to come on to it later in the video. When it comes to the price point of this, it's £20 here in the UK and whatever the equivalent of is wherever in the world you happen to be. Now, I know that that is quite significantly more than the original natural moisturising factors, which retails for around £10, so you can see that direct comparison. I'm going to come on to my thoughts on the pricing later. But let's first talk about the ingredients. So if you compare and contrast the new moisturising factors with phytoceramides alongside the original natural moisturising factors, you can definitely see that the formulation has been enriched in order to suit a more dryness prone skin type. Not only do you have double the quantity of those natural moisturizing factors, emollients and hydrators, but you have lots of different forms. You've got those phytoceramides, which are going to be wonderful at boosting the barrier function of the skin. If you're somebody that maybe has overdone it with exfoliation, vitamin C, gone in a little bit too harsh, and you've definitely noticed the redness, the peeling and irritation, that can actually be signs of an impaired skin barrier. And using things like niacinamide, ceramide, another barrier boosting ingredients can be a really great way of healing that. You also in here have urea, which is my favourite humectant. I think urea is like an unsung hero in the skincare world. It's wonderful because not only does it draw in and retain moisture in itself, like a lot of humectants, but it's also a protein softener. So if you notice that the dryness in your skin comes alongside a bit of a rough feeling to the complexion, urea can really help to just smooth all that out. You don't get that ingredient in the original formulation, but you do in the new one, which I think is definitely streets ahead. This is also packed full of lipids. The amount of lipids in our skin actually diminishes over time. This is why as we age, our skin can become a little bit more 
more naturally dryness prone. Even someone like me who's super oily, even into their 37th year here on planet Earth, I definitely noticed that my skin is slightly more drier, or less oily at least, now than it was say 10 years ago. Lipids are a core component of effective anti-aging skincare routine, so a product like this is a real great way of dialing up the amount of lipids in the skin by applying them topically. So for me, let's start with the positives first. What are the pros of reaching for this product? You're definitely going to get a lot more meaningful hydration from this version of the natural moisturizing factors than you will from the original. I love to see this because I think often brands will tweak with their formulations and launch it as like a new product and you see very little different. Honestly, there are so many great additional ingredients in this that I think makes it streets ahead of the original when it comes to hydration. This is definitely going to be suited to a drier skin type more than an oily skin type, but it's nice now with the ordinary that you actually have the option between these two products. I also love the fact that they've launched this in addition to the original formulation. I think we all got a little bit panicked when they announced that this product was coming. We thought, okay, is this going to be replacing the natural moisturizing factors? There's a holy grail for so many people. The Roche Posay recently did this when they reformulated their cult holy grail Seeker Plus Balm. This just left a lot of people disappointed. I covered that in a recent video, which I will leave a link to up there. It's nice that they've actually launched this in addition, so we have the choice. We're able to match the product to our individual skin's needs. It is super lightweight on its finish, even though it's really rich and hydrating. So I'm going to try in this point to do a bit of a compare and contrast. So here you have the original natural moisturizing factors, and here you have the newer one with phytoceramides. I actually think the texture of it is a lot more pleasant. It's easier to work into the skin, but if you can see, much thicker on application. When it comes to the original, yes, it feels a little bit more lightweight, less heavy and dense, but I actually think it takes a little bit longer to work it in. Overall, I actually think you get a better application with the newer, more heavy duty one with phytoceramides. So definitely thought has gone into the application rather than just the formulation. Feels great on the skin, and for something that is so, so heavy duty, it genuinely doesn't feel tacky or sticky. In fact, on my oily, acne prone skin, I actually found that it sunk in almost completely. Definitely gave a real meaningful level of hydration, but didn't clog the pores, break me out in any real way. And actually, I would say, even though it's not designed for my individual skin type, I preferred the finish of this product versus the original natural moisturizing factors. Another great positive is the flexibility. Flexibility. So if you have a very dry, dehydrated skin, you can use this as your standard moisturizer. You'll notice the difference instantly, more plump, more hydrated, nourish and softer skin. In the long term, definitely will have some barrier supporting benefits too. However, if that's not your skin type and you still want to try this, you can do like I did and just use it as a flash mask. I put a relatively thick layer of this on the skin, leave it five minutes, then towel it off with a washcloth, a flannel or a reusable cotton round. This definitely left behind a a real meaningful level of hydration, a nice little mask treat, but it didn't feel quite as heavy duty on the skin, which is not something I particularly need or wanted. It's that flexibility, either using it as a mask or a standard moisturizer, that definitely gets a few extra points from me. As with everything The Ordinary, cruelty free, and I definitely applaud them for being really transparent with what the ingredients do. They break it down really easy on their website. Now with all of those pros, do come a couple of cons that I want to call out in this section of the video. First up, this contains a form of vegetable oil, which could be a little bit problematic if you have very breakout prone skin. If you're in the middle of an active breakout, this is definitely a product that I would recommend you avoid. I used it infrequently as a mask and it had no impact on the amount of breakouts or my acne. However, if I was in an active breakout or was to use it every single day, I definitely think over time this ingredient could exacerbate the breakouts and the acne you see. So just bear that in mind. A great ingredient to have in a moisturizer for dry skin types that this is absolutely suited for. But I think for those of us that are super oily and acne prone, definitely use this with caution and on an infrequent basis. I also want to talk about that price point. £20. Now that is roughly double what they're charging for the original formulation. Now do you only think that this product should come with a higher price point? Absolutely. It's got a ton more ingredients and some of these are real high quality ingredients too. This isn't a sloppy formulation. You're definitely getting a whole lot more by upgrading to the one with phytoceramides. So we should absolutely expect to pay more. I don't think £20 is actually that bad for 100ml of real high quality moisturiser. However, I know a lot of people are going to be shocked by that because that is significantly more than we're used to paying when it comes to the ordinary. I always say when it comes to purchasing skincare, use what works for you and fits your budget. £20 isn't going to be everyone's price point. And yes, you can absolutely get some heavy duty moisturizers for a smaller amount of your coin. 
But for a lot of people that like the ordinary and think that £20 is a good price point for a moisturiser, this will definitely deliver. It all comes down to your individual take and budget, so you need to bear that in mind. I was a little bit shocked. I'm not going to lie, I think the price creep with the ordinary is something that I'm finding a little bit problematic at the moment. I've called this out in previous videos. It doesn't mean that the products aren't worth it. I just think maybe we become a little bit shocked when we look at the price of this in comparison to some of the other products from the ordinary. £20, when you set this quality formulation alongside other things available at the drugstore, is still, in my view, value for money. But if you're used to those rock-bottom drugstore the ordinary prices, this probably will become as a bit of a shock. I think the saving grace with this one is a little goes such a long way. Even on a drier skin type, you don't need a lot of this product to get really deep hydration and added benefit. So I'd say a tube like this and even a dry skin type will probably last a couple of months. So when you set that against the price point, I actually don't think £20 is that bad, but I know that this won't appeal to everyone. So it really comes down to your individual take on this. For me, I'm personally going to stick with the original natural moisturising factors, which I think is just more applicable to my individual skin type. The Ordinary make no qualms about who this product and the new one with phytoceramides is designed for, those with dry, dehydrated skin. But I'm glad that I've got it in my skincare routine, and I will be using it on an infrequent basis as a treatment as a hydrating mask. For that, it works really well, and on the hands, on the dry areas of the body, it is stunning. I actually find it's less greasy than the original natural moisturising factors, so they've worked wonders with this formulation. I'm actually going to award this an 8 out of 10. That's pretty good for a moisturiser, packed full of beneficial ingredients, but it would score fractionally higher. They just brought that price point down a little bit. I expected it to be a little bit more expensive than the original because of the enhanced formulation, but somewhere in the region of like £15, I think would sit better with the ordinary price point and also account for the higher quality ingredients and more of them that you see in this product. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, opinions in the comments section below. Will you be buying this or are you going to give it a firm, firm pass? I want to get that conversation going. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.